Okay, so I wanted to teach you a few moves, simple but popular moves. The most important one is the wave. It all starts, for me, it starts with waves. Um, I'm going to eventually record a video of me doing a few combinations. It's just time. Yesterday I tried to make that video and I got a tennis ball in the head from a toddler and I tripped over a dog. Okay, so it's pretty tough. I'm, I'm trying to squeeze these in. Anyway, this is an arm wave and I'm going to show you how to do an arm wave, okay? Simple, like this. When it's done properly, that's what it looks like. If you don't do it properly, it's gonna end up like this. You want to make it subtle, the moves are very, very tight. Okay, it starts like this. Hand out, fingers up, bring the fingers down, then the knuckles up, then the wrist up, then I'm going to show you this, then your elbow goes up. Now your elbow doesn't naturally bend up that way when you have your arm this way. So I'm going to show you a side angle. What I'm doing here is my fingers go down, my knuckles go down, my wrist goes up, and my arm twists. Do you see that? How my arm twists to the side? I kind of push my arm forward a little bit with my shoulder. So it's not, my arm is not bending the wrong way against the joint. It's actually twisting slightly. So it's like this. And then when I go back up, it, it falls back in place. So it looks like this. One of the faults people make all the time is when you imagine that there's a wave, a current going through you, so it's up all the way. What people neglect to do is when, they, when the current comes to here, whatever, they literally forget about the rest of the arm and only concentrate on the, the piece that's going up. If you want to make it look good, you've got to remember that it's an entire move, not just focusing on one piece. So it's like this, and then almost flatten the hand back again. So you're like in, like in the ocean, like one wave comes, but it's followed by another wave. So you bring the hand down and almost get ready for that next wave. So it's constant like this. So, so it's fingers down, knuckles up, wrist up and then have the hand ready to go flat again twist the arm bring it up go to the shoulder okay well you can bring your arm up here go to the shoulder and then go to the other shoulder so it's like this okay not too i'm just showing you for the camera but not too high so it's more subtle like this and then it's in reverse then so it's i gotta make sure because i'm in a small area so it's then shoulder but keep the hand up. So it's shoulder, elbow, wrist, knuckle, other knuckle, finger. When you get really good, you can do some electro stuff like this. Like. Okay, I hope this turns out. I'm going to show you loads of moves. You got to practice. If you practice in front of a mirror, and you could, your mom can, or your parents can show you where you're kind of making a couple of mistakes, but definitely practice, practice, practice. And the thing about the wave of body popping is, it's not doing the move, it's all those small little pieces that make the move look good. Everyone thinks, oh, an arm wave, no problem. It's not just an arm wave. If you pay attention to everything I say and do it properly, you'll get it right. Oh, look, here's, here's my little boogaloo shrimp. Say hello. Hello. Hi. This is the guy who hit me the head of the tennis ball yesterday. Okay, more videos on the way. I'm going to show you how to do the King Tuts, all of that. And all basically popping is, is when you tie in the Tuts, if you tie in the Tuts with the arm waves, you can do tons of stuff like this. All those crazy moves, okay? I'm going to show you how to do all that crap. Yeah. All right? Practice on the wave, and then tomorrow we'll probably do the body wave. Okay? Okay. I'm really embarrassed and very self-conscious doing this. But it's for mental health. Okay? Have a nice day.